What's up, everybody? Matt Kajeski here, back again with the Odd Shopper channel. And today we're going to be talking some college football bets ahead of week two. It's actually just going to be a single bet. We'll talk the Friday Kansas Illinois game. Won't talk about FCS. Unfortunately, those lines come out too close to game time to talk about it in these videos. But before we get started, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know this and all other content goes live. We're also brought to you by Caesar Sportsbook. New offer for you guys, it's for new users. Make a $50 wager and you are going to get paid out $250 in the form of bonus bets. Your first one comes right when that first wager settles and then you'll get $50 each of the next four weeks, each of the four subsequent weeks. Those need to be used within seven days of issuance. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, please call or text 1-800-GAMBLER. All right, we start with Friday. Kansas is a three-point favorite over Illinois. The total in the game is 58 points. Saw both these teams play already. Kansas beat up on a poor Missouri State team. They won 48-17 to with a backup quarterback. Illinois got a little bit of a scare from Toledo. They only won 30-28. to They still had an 82.4% post-game win expectancy. But right away, I do like Kansas here. I laid the three points with the Jayhawks. They are projected to get back Jalen Daniels. And Luke Grimm, who's technically listed as questionable, but the Kansas beat reporters think he is going to be active. Exited last week's game. Seemed like it was more of a precaution than anything. Just playing an FCS team, not really needed there. But right away, Kansas, I think, has major offensive advantages. Daniel's back. He's a mobile signal caller. They have a stable of running backs highlighted by Devin Neal, who should have no issues running over Illinois. That was a weakness for them in week one, which surprised me. Illinois allowed 4.4 yards per carry. They did not do a great job on the offensive line, and that stemmed from pass blocking, run blocking. They allowed eight quarterback pressures and 32 dropbacks. Luckily, Luke Altmaier was able to avoid a Toledo defense and run his way to 69 yards on nine attempts. But then on the other side, like allowing 4.4 yards per carry to a Toledo run game, not ideal. And we thought this was going to be the strength of this Illinois team. So there are concerns with the Illini in the trenches. Now, when Kansas comes out on offense, this offensive line should be able to push them around a little bit. They were awesome in terms of run blocking. They only allowed one quarterback pressure on 28 dropbacks. That was a unit that was coming back pretty intact. So kind of what we expected heading into the season. Now, when we look at Illinois on offense, we mentioned they have some offensive line issues. And Luke Altmaier, still relatively unproven, the former Ole Miss signal caller. We'll see what he can do, but I think this run game could have problems. On the other side, with the Kansas team playing on offense, like aside from the run game, they should be able to throw on Illinois. Illinois didn't allow a ton in terms of passing yards per attempt. It was 6.2 against Toledo, which is middling. But they lost four starters in their secondary. They lost four to the NFL. This is a unit we were expecting to take a step back, and now a team like Kansas is going to be able to exploit this more than a Toledo team can, especially when you've got Grimm back. You have Arnold, you have Skinner, you have Fairchild, a good tight end here. This Kansas offense is explosive. They were last year, and they have the same group of guys back. With an Illinois defense that looks much different, I do think Kansas scores here. And I think Kansas has a little more success on defense playing against a remade Illinois offense, new quarterback, new running backs, new pieces on the offensive line. We'll bet Kansas here, minus three. Hit the thumbs up button on the way out. It helps a ton. We'll be back tomorrow breaking down a full slate of games. Betting you is already out. It's myself and Ben Raza. We talked the major games on the slate. So the Saturday VOD will touch on those games, but we'll also get really deep in the weeds with some of the other teams. Until then, you can follow me on Twitter if you'd like, at Matt underscore Kajeski. But otherwise, we'll catch you later and good luck.